Good kitten internet, I have done absolutely nothing other than stop and start the recording. I have to go now and prepare your welcoming party. I really hate him. Prism flowers? What are they? I have no idea, but it's probably a trap. Ancient flower. Excuse me. Ancient counters had those... Uh, ancient countries had those flowers along their borders. What kind of flowers were they? I cannot explain. We'll see them when we get to Grand's, I guess. But we grab, grab the sky orb. Let's go. I have no control right now for reference. Now I do. Okay. Before anything else, we need to get our stats up. Uh, which means I'm actually going to walk away for a bit. I forgot that I can do that. Maybe I should have actually put this at the end of the previous episode. Uh, eh, bit late now. So the way I've been getting stats, by the way, is by entering the um, caravan and going to Purge. Purge will give you the battle party. So this is a nice convenient way for me to just update this. 15.98. 18.35, So yeah, Elric is the lowest. Uh, Elric and Frey are the lowest members of the party. I don't know how I missed Elric before. Okay, and then stats. Seven. Sorry. 42. 52. I keep forgetting. Protect rings equipped. Turn 3 MP. What the hell? Uh, so for reference, I've never seen a sorcerer or a wizard with this much MP before. Uh, not even close. And I have actually promoted at level 40 with wizards and sorcerers before. So, Jaha is special. Five, yeah, you don't get to see me do this very often, but I decided I was going to record it this time. Uh, 37, 37. 37. Oh, right, that's Luke. That makes sense. 36. 37. 3. Rick. 74. 78. 52. 51. 50. I still have a really nasty headache, but um, decided I wanted to push through. I worked in level up. 70, 85, 65, 44. Janet, 71. That's a massive HP increase. 78, 66, 46. I mean, I know that's three levels, but still. 63, 63 slash 68. 49, 44. Okay. And, oops. We're going to try using that stupid power walker again. Uh, who did we say we wanted power water on? It was Elric, right? Although Elric's the one I'm most likely to just drop. Uh, let's use it on... May. I'm not going to be dropping May. Screw it. I'll just take it. May is now 71 attack. Alright. This is the point of no return for a bit. 
this enters the fourth part of the game. We're at the... So if we're talking about plot-wise, we're 75% of the way through the game. So we get to talk to our entire force here, by the way. Also, let's not forget this. It's the cannon for the ship. So the Nazca cannon is our first unique weapon for archers. So, we're going to equip this on... I think I'm actually going to equip this on Elric. Because then Elric's attack is roughly in line with the rest of the archers. I specifically don't want to equip it on Chester. Or not Chester, um, Slade. Because it has a unique looking attack effect that I really enjoy. We've seen it before. Um... I don't know why I can theoretically talk to that, but whatever. The ancients were smart. Moving around in a vehicle is wonderful. Many centaurs in this force, but I think I'm the most valuable one. Actually, there's two. Actually, you're not one of them, but whatever. Jaha sure is cute, even if he's kind of short. This is the only time in the game we get to talk to people. Grr, grr, is that enough? I'm trying to be brutal. I try to be brutal. I'm a centaur, but I can use a bow and arrows. A bow and arrows. Speaking tires me. Fighting tires me. I'm tired. I'm like a shadow of the night. Silent, deadly. So yeah, these are the effects that if everybody was in your party, they would be talking about. So the only ones that we haven't really talked to are these over here. Young men nowadays are difficult to understand. I'm just getting old. Face any devil, anytime. Bring him on. Travel's my hobby. See the souvenir? It's for my wife, and I like Guyan's personality. I like this. Free food. I can't forgive them. Evil must be purged from this earth. Tula looks young, but she's actually quite old. You surprised to see how fast I grew? Why? I can't feel myself. Why? I'm not a vampire, am I? It's the first hint that something might be up with Higgins. I'm afraid of battle, but I'll never run from the enemy. Who else have we not talked to? I love swooping in for the kill. We centaurs are the main fighters in a battle. We're awesome. No, you're not awesome. I mean, you actually are awesome. Oh, speaking of... We gained that staff. First, this thing's just going to somebody that doesn't matter. Because then we'll hold it. Um, same with the Arm of Golem. Sky Orb is there. Where did that staff go? There it is. Only Vickers can use the staff, of which we have two. Unfortunately, you'll notice that it drops their defense. Ah, it's because the Guardian Staff is awesome. Um, that means the Ender Staff's useless now. Road, hold on to it. Anyway, I think we've talked to everybody new, and we've talked to everybody else before. Have you ever noticed how short Jaha is? Actually, no, it's the quotes whether they're in or out of battle. Interesting. I just noticed that. Huh. But we take it easy. Okay. Um, do I want to sell things now? I mean, it doesn't really do anything for me. So, no. You can start the ship by placing the sky orb into the cockpit. 
Prepare for some amazing 90s graphics, let me tell you. Bowie fit the sky orb into the cockpit. Wow, the ship is vibrating! What's going on? Don't worry. But, but... Ow! It's floating! This big ship is floating! We're going higher and higher. See? Nazca ship. It flies. You didn't know that the Nazca lines in South America did that, now did you? I've never experienced anything like this in my 70 years of life. Okay, now we will head to Grand's Island. Oh, we're flying. Ancients were greater than we thought. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. Bowie is almost here already. Yes, sir. With an ancient aircraft. He'll be passing over the cape soon. Good. I'll do anything to get my powers back. They're stronger than we thought. But I have an idea. Please let me try it. Well... I think it's better for us to shoot him down over the cape. I agree! Thank you. Then may I borrow Odai? He's still damaged from his battle against Volcanon. Take Red Baron instead. Thank you, sir. They will be passing over the cape soon. Go yes, sir. So I'm trying to do a different voice so I don't scratch things. Huh, that Geshep, he wants everything. You don't know that, you? Yes, King Zeon. I'm afraid Geshep can't stop Bowie's advance. You really think so? I was just thinking of Bowie's hidden powers. We must never underestimate him. Anyway, it'll be a fantastic show! You <gasps> oh! oh. the preparations before the Nazca ship flies over the gate. Actually, that might just be a random wizard that does that. Now that I think about it. Oops. I need to check something really fast. Got multiple notifications in a row. Mm, don't care about them. Got it. <clears throat> there it is. How are the prism flowers? They're ready. Excellent. Now, come on, Grand Seal losers. The prism flowers are waiting for you. <laughs> There is Grand's Island. All right. We finally come home. I see the Nazca ship. Everybody, get ready. What's that? I saw a flash of light over there. I didn't see it. You must be seeing things because you're so old. <laughs> Someday, Peter. Ow. Welcome to Prism Flowers. Shoot them! Shoot them! They are flowers that shoot freaking laser beams. I did see something. Well, I didn't. This could be bad. So rational. Bowie, something is coming straight toward us. What is it? Ooh, what was that? Lightning? An attack from the ground. I can't control the ship. We've sustained damage to the engine. We might crash. 
crash? Guess I'm strapped. Darn! We walked right into it because we didn't do a single thing about it. I don't want to crash! Sir Astral, please help us. Zing, can you land on that cape before the ship crashes? I am not sure. But I will try. I don't know. I don't like the use of contractions for Zink. I think that was a bad choice. <laughs> Hey, Zink, I like your wild driving. Where's Sir Astral? He's blind. He's sitting right in front of Zink. Oh, there he is. Sir Astral, are you okay? Bowie, come on. You notice that these little tablet things look familiar? They're going to look a lot more familiar when we go there. Was it too wild? <sighs> Made it to Grand's Island. I'm sorry, we made it to Grand's Island, but we guess ship's probably coming for us. Evacuate the ship! What are you waiting? What are you doing? Get off the ship! I'll go first. Up, 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 up. And now everybody's all topsy turvy. Ouch! Oh. Oh, my twinkling stars. What a ride! Ugh. Ugh. Ouch! Ouch! What a ride! What a ride! Yeah, they all say the same things. And this is the most members of the party that you or most members of in the game that you can have at this particular time. Even the caravan got moved. Well. What a terrible waste. We've lost an ancient treasure. Anyway, we have to go to Ark Valley. But wait, let's go. And we can never return in there. That was it. So if we happen to have not grabbed the Nazca cannon, nothing we can do about it. Except... We can teleport. Where are you from? I used to be a priest. Do you need my help? See, this actually looks like the enemy master monks. Welcome. Your desire will be fulfilled. Yes, let's make a real save. Don't you perch right back, you will die! I'm always in control of my mind. So before we do anything, I'm going to show you where we're at. So we're just from there. Go down there. Little Master Monk area. Dark face. Brave Apple, so an instant level up. Always appreciated. Oops. Just a large upstairs with nobody here. I don't quite understand. They never really explain it. Deep well. But you'll notice that there's a little path around here that you can't do anything with, if I remember right. I think that's a different location that you can go around. Or is it here? I think it might be a different location. Oh, it's here. This is right. I remember now. This is a secret. Who's there? 
This is a sacred place. Oops. She's too beautiful for you. Back, back. Brush. I want to see. Wait. Is that you, Sir Astral? What? Ooh, let me go look at the naked person again. Who are you? You know me. Oh, you don't remember me. Well, I, uh, sorry, I thought I remember all naked women, but, you know, you know how it goes. 70 years old and all that. I'm Sheila. I was a pupil of yours in Gallum. I was preparing to become a priest. So, way, way, way back when we were in Gollum, there was um, the actual, like, church in Gollum. The priest wasn't there because the priest had gone off to go marry Sheila. This is Sheila. Sheila? I can't believe it. How was that scar on your chest? Remember? You stuck up behind me and tapped my shoulder. You kicked me in the chest and it left a scar. How could I forget? Nobody but Sheila knew about that scar. Still aches sometimes. I'm sorry I kicked you. That's... That's okay. How have... Um, Astral, are you going to introduce us? Okay. Put up my plumage. Oh, of course. All in good time. By the way, what are you doing here? Well, I came here to kill Red Baron. He killed my fiancé. Oh. I'm sorry about that. Why did you come back to Grand's? Teresa Luzion, the king of the devils. Sorry, that was the wrong voice. Listen, Sheila, all the killings lately were caused by him. He'll destroy the entire world. He must be stopped. Is Red Baron his follower? Mm, could be. Hmm. Okay, I'll do it. Close your eyes. Time for the NC-17 section of the game. Are you ready? Whoa, 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 Sir Astral, please let me go with you. We welcome you, but can you fight? I've made my body into a weapon. When did you learn to do this? You're a priest. I was, but now I'm Master Monk. I found a Vigor Ball. You could always use another well-trained fighter. She led the robot. You turned your body into a weapon. Nice. Good job, Wreck, even though I know you didn't choose this, but... I've got a strong ally. <laughs> Many Gollum soldiers are in the West. We must be careful. All right. Sheila, what are your stats like? Because, uh, this is gonna be weird. Okay, so... Robots are very similar to monsters and wolf barons in that they don't use weapons. They are just strong. Um, robots, unfortunately, are incredibly slow. They are the among the slowest movement in the game. Um, but, if we compare, say, Sheila to uh, Gaian, Sheila is worse in every way, and one level higher. Robots aren't necessarily good characters. Oops. There's still an item here that I need to pick up. Well, needs a strong word, I'm just going to sell it anyway, but um, where is it at? Is it actually upstairs? It might be. I don't remember where it's at. It's been a really long time. Maybe it's actually back where Sheila was now that I think about it. Anyway, we have a new character. It's Sheila. 
So normally Sheila is the only promoted master monk that you get in the game. Um, Sheila as a master monk is not a very good one. She's actually sh almost strictly worse than uh, Karna as a master monk. But... I don't remember where it's at. Uh, one moment. Bigger ball located in... Ah, so apparently this was actually not supposed to be there. Behind a lone tree at the dojo where you find Sheila. There it is. So, in the Japanese version of the game, this Vicar Ball doesn't exist. You're only supposed to have one of each of the promotion items. <coughs> and this was actually the original location of it back when they were doing the development of the game. They decided to move it earlier because you're, um, we're well beyond promoted levels at this point. But they accidentally left this one into the version of the game that they sent over to the Americans to translate. So, as a result, there's a Vicar Ball here. Um, it's not a very useful Vigor Ball, except that you can use it to promote your second priest. Um, since Karna is typically a priest that you pick up at Creed's, you could leave Karna there, pick up Karna afterward, work on leveling her up up to level 40 or so, because as a healer, that's totally doable, and then promote when you get here, which is about right for being level 40, and then you have a low level, but promoted at level 40 uh, Master Monk that you can use from here. It's not that great. I've done it multiple times. I mean, because Master Monks are awesome, it still works out just fine. But uh, don't have to worry about that. Sorry, I have notifications out the wazoo today. Um, do I have more notifications? YouTube's gotten really bad about comments. It's annoying. Anyway, okay. So, now that I've been going for nearly a half an hour, we should actually have a battle. Uh, let's go ahead and do that type of save. You're still alive! Gush up. You're still alive? Unbelievable! You really are persistent. We'll never stop. We'll never die until we destroy all of you. But we kill him. We have to kill him now. Very sorry, but I have to go. Don't let him advance. This is a very interesting battle for a different reason. He escaped again. Uh, Geshep sure is a tricky, tricky devil. After him now. If I remember right. Yep. They didn't position anybody. This was definitely not the way the battle was supposed to be made in my mind. I'm pretty sure that this is a glitch and they just forgot to position people. But everybody's actually in one spot, which means... They're going to all attack at once. There's no way to trigger just a few of them. This looks awfully suspicious. Awfully suspicious. Anyway, we have some new enemies. We've got Chaos Wizards that have Blaze 4. It hurts like hell. They also have 100 attack, because why have a wizard with a normal amount of attack? We have Mist Demons, which have 125 attack, which hurt like hell, and Muddle 2, which is the most obnoxious spell in the game that enemies can use on you. Well, the most obnoxious spell in this game. Um, so, should mention, there's actually an instant death spell in the game, but my randomizer removes it, because instant death spells are dumb and I have horrible luck with them. Namely, it never works for me and always works on the enemy. Plus, instant death spells do zero points of damage, so you actually get less XP for using them than you would just doing damage. And since instant death spells, I think in this game, have 60% chance of success and don't work on uh, bosses, it's kind of worthless. Anyway, Griffins, so flying creatures with 7 movement, 120 attack, because why not? 
Purple Worms, 121 attack. And a lone Bow Rider. So we do have a range 3 Archer with 108 attack, because why not? This is where our defense problems are going to be nasty, so we have a lot of terrain to cover, because they just put everybody here for some reason. So let's get to it, shall we? Oh, yeah, you can see the little bit of a green bar now. It's right there. Itty bitty. I don't even know if YouTube encoding is going to crush that or not. Anyway, we're just moving people. Because we're in a really bad spot. Oh, my credit card statement's ready. Okay, don't have to care about that. This is actually a decent battle for grinding on. Just because everybody starts in the same location. But I don't want to grind right now. So I think after this battle, we're safe for a bit. And you'll understand what I mean in, when I get there. Uh, Freya, just move out. I forgot that I had boost two, and I should have just boosted everybody. Yeah, that'll do. The problem is that you we have really crappy terrain to start on top of it, so it takes a long time to get through this. That's why I'm putting the flyers in the water and so on so they don't clutter up the area. And we're going to rebuild a formation down here when we're out of the bad terrain. So by the time you all wa are watching this, I'm probably done with the game. But what questions do you might have about how the game works? So sim akin to what I've done for Wild Arms, I actually have gone through and figured out all the mechanics behind this game. Um, I did it uh, over 10 years ago now. That was while I was unemployed. So desert has a land effect, or beach has a land effect of 30. So I'm going to primarily park myself on beach. But we've got a ways to go. So there are activating, which makes me wonder if their activation triggers are actually based off of my physical position. Like if they were actually spread out correctly. I don't know. Because some of them aren't moving at all. This, this battle's really confusing to me. Everything I know about Shining Force 2 tells me that this battle shouldn't be like this. Also, that desert is nasty. All right, this is the point where I'm gonna start getting into a little bit of a formation. So I'm not that close, but I'm also no longer that far away. I cannot put a screen distance in between, although that's not by much. And Bowie and friends will also join, or the flyers will join the formation as well, but they're going to be further back.
get some more boost going on. Yeah, boost 2 really makes it quick to level up um, any character using it. So that's 40 XP. HP 2, MP 2, Defense 1, Agility 2. No need to spell, okay. I wonder when I'm going to get heal 4. Because I think that's pretty much the last spell I have. Your movement is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So I'm a little concerned about Bowie's current position because, well, he's squishy. A lot of people are squishy, to be fair, but. Is that going to be too close? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I want to taunt him, I will sit here. I'll also try taunting him with Janet. That definitely gets their attention. Yep. Alright, this is still gonna hurt. So that's boosted and my highest defense of the party. Oh, I still have the Excel spreadsheet on weird stuff. Here, let me just turn that off. There we go. All right, time for some snippy action. Snip, snip, sucker. See, that's the effect that I really like looking at. It's my favorite archer effect. Also, that's a lot of XP. I know Elric's my lowest member of the party, lowest level member of the party, and he's under leveled right now too. So if you can't tell, when you gain a character and they're higher level than some members of your party, you're under leveled. We are absolutely under leveled right now, because. Sheila joined at level 15, and we have two members of the party below 15 right now. Yeah, no. Stabbings. Mine. Eh, I'll turn back on the spreadsheet so I can show you how I'm delegating this. Uh, so, Randolph, I'm not going to bother updating things until, you know, we're actually close. Uh, nothing's magical to speak of, so this is fine. Other than me, that is. I could just bolt four the crap out of something, but I think I would rather bolt three in this case. So bolt three and four cost the same amount of MP, you noticed. Uh, unfortunately, that means I can only do it once. And am I going to have a chance to get a better bolt? It's possible, but it's unlikely. I'm probably going to taunt out enough. So let's get a more sensible bolt going on. This is probably a bad idea, so I'm safe stating. Bolt three! I'm really glad I gave him more MP. This is probably an even worse idea now that I think about it. Leveled up. HP two, attack one, defense one, agility one. Seriously. Just kill the purple worm. I don't want it to get a turn when I have a squishy out there. I moved a little too fast. This is a problem. Well, that would be an incredibly dumb idea. But if I can take out one of them, that won't be too bad. I don't do enough damage. I leveled up, though. HP 2, attack 1. Finally got attack up. That's good. 
Um, so yeah, you are 15.7 or 15.14 derp. I'm looking at attack instead of XP. 15.14 for Elric. I can take one of them out by doing this. How fast do the purple worms move? Five. One, two, three, four. I'm going to hope terrain effects still affects purple worms. I really want to take out one of the dragon newts. Yay, I got a heat axe! That could actually be useful. Maybe. Okay. Unfortunately, can't do much with Freya. Because I messed that up. I am not even close to range to heal anybody. This is going to hurt again. Ow! Well, I'm going to go like this so I don't have to worry as much about getting hit twice. Hi, Yasin. You going to join us for a video? Ah, oh, crap. Actually using Heat Axe. Heat Axe is still Blaze 2, yeah. Okay. The problem is on Janet. Janet's hurting pretty bad now. Okay, good. You can't reach any height. Behold, the power of boost! I guess. Yep, this is going to be the last video for tonight because I have to... Oh, crap. I actually already have boost on most things, don't I? I thought that had expired already. Well, that was a completely useless boost. Cool. Now it's expiring, of course. Okay. Janet's the only one really hurt, right? Yeah. That should help some, I assume. I need to cook after this badly. I have... Uh, about two kilos of chicken in the chicken breasts in the fridge right now. Oh, cat! Uh, the cat just hit my load state. Hold on, let's do that undo. That resave state. Silly kitty. Okay, um, I can take you out, but I kind of don't want to do that right now. I'll satisfy myself with attacking your griffin. Always problems. Slice. Boost expires. Bone't. Take out a griffin. This is gonna suck because I'm in a bad area of effect for muddle. I know that's gonna go off. Because it always does on me. Let's just take out that griffin, even though I'm using somebody who's higher level. It's fine. Slade 16. No attack up. Slade, you are 16.32. Uh, the only thing I can kill is that thing. I don't particularly want to kill it with May, but I'm gonna. HP 2, defense 2, agility 1. Really, May? What is up with archers and their crappy attack? I don't understand. Oh, 
Oh, all of these positions are terrible. I'm gonna go with this one. Take the upper purple worm. Yep. Miss demons are hard to hit. I don't think anybody in my area is injured other than May. Oh. Elric and May are slightly injured. Both injured by 10, both injured by 10. Uh, May has lower defense, if I remember, right? Elric's at 44, May's at 41, yeah. Admittedly, May just leveled up, but she's not gonna be that much higher now. All right. I don't think I can do enough damage. Yeah, I'm only doing 17. Even a double attack wouldn't do enough damage. Yep, and it's bottle time. Piece of crap. Okay, you miss Bowie. Miss Chester. Miss May. Miss Luke. Miss Elric. Miss Randall. You missed with every... Not expecting that. Cool. Okay. Either I can do that or attack the mist. Your defense is 46. Your defense is 41. I'm going to attack the mist. Not give. Equip. Chrome Lance. Quick Rain. Attack. Mist. Okay, Freya leveled up. Attack, HP 2, attack 1, defense 2, agility 2. You're at least getting decent level ups, but ugh. I can block the purple worm. And that's it. Going after the mist demon. Randolph leveled up to 16. HP 2, attack 3, defense 2, agility 1. Nice. Ah. <coughs> this is a mess. Definitely wish I had not spent my bolt 3 already. Because now I can only bolt 2 this mess. Janet's being attacked again. And then Janet is poisoned. And Janet will be attacked another time. Okay, I wasn't expecting from the bow rider. I was expecting from the other purple worm. Janet's dead. Luke's being attacked. Ow. So that could have gone better. Oh, Mudman appears. Oh, Mudman appeared. It was a trap. Okay. So I'm going to note down their XP. So Janet was 1540. Freya's fifteen point fifteen point one five. Uh Randolph is sixteen one three. Sixteen two five. Sixteen nine five. Sixteen nine nine. Sixteen at one. Eighteen sixty six. Oops. May is sixteen oh one. Er, 1866. You've already been noted. 1916. 15, 6. 16, 14. Okay. Alright. Kiwi has to attack now because we're in trouble. Crit, please? Oh. Honestly, I'm thinking about egressing out. So we are in trouble. With a capital T and rhymes with B, and that means trouble. Anyway, um... Everybody's attacking. Okay, 
Hit as many as I can. No longer caring about balancing XP. That means I'm going to kill two people with Jaha, unfortunately. But I need fewer enemies in front of me. Three people with Jaha. I gained 49 XP, though. That's impressive. Bolt 3. Uh, Bolt 2 is still magnificent, even if Bolt 3 is way better. Okay. Take out Mudman, please. I know it's not going to kill it, but, you know. I can't get him for Aura right now. You're normally supposed to have Aura by this point. Sheila can uh, get Aura if I remember. No, Sheila can't. The only people who would normally get Aura are Karna and Freya. Uh, that's in Danger Zone, but I'm going to do it anyway. Donk. Everywhere I go, this is going to hurt a hell of a lot. This is the only spot that I'm even somewhat safe, and I'm not safe from the Bow Knight. And the Bow Knight will rip Freya a new one. Hey, soon. No. He's getting bitey again. Oh... All options are terrible. Go after the Mist Demon. Really? Of course. Good. For once, dodging works well for me. Alright, I know a lot of people can use healing. Yeah. Okay, I can at least reach Luke. That will help. Because Luke's going to have to bolt two some suckers. 2p2, mp2, attack one, defense one, agility two. Blast to level four! Yay! Um, yeah. 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 That hits five people. Gives a shaman something to do. And gives Luke 49 XP. Level 17, HP 2, MP 2, attack 1, defense 1, agility 2. I don't even know if Luke has. Yeah, Luke doesn't even have any more spells. Heat Axe is fine. That doesn't do enough damage for me to be too concerned. Especially not to Kiwi. A little concerned about Randolph at this point. And that's about it. I'm more concerned because of the Bow Knight. This might be just a really expensive everybody. Yep, Freya's dead. Yeah. Freya can get one-shotted by that Bow Knight. It, there's nothing I can do other than stay away. And that would be basically mean not a, And yep, Chester's dead. This is what I meant before by I might need to egress. Because this is where all hell's breaking loose. Yep, and there's Aura. At least it's only Aura 1. It's only 18 hit points. I think the Chaos Wizard counts as the boss. Oh. Alright, wait, two attack. This game's not going well for me. This battle, I mean. Fine. Take more bolts.
Shaman's gonna die. I can almost one-shot the Shaman. Oh, you actually gain XP from it. That's amazing. Nope, that's not what I want to do. There we go. Ah, one dip point off. Brass Gunner, you can't reach. Purple Worm at 38, Misty Demon at 38. Dragon Dude at 34. Take out the Misty Demon if I can. It's not going to be enough damage. Miss Demons actually get ground effect for some weird reason. I think. They might not, now that I think about it. That's gonna hurt. This is what Blaze 4 looks like. It looks pretty cool. It does 45 damage, which, oddly enough, Kiwi can actually take. But it still sucks. Okay. Uh, I can bolt two all of them down there, and I think that's my best option. Because that will take out the Boat Knight, and I really, or the Boat Rider, and I really need that Boat Rider gone. This is going to be a nasty amount of money I'm spending for Resurrection. I'm so glad I'm, this isn't a Nuzlocke at this point. Oh, I killed the boss. Sweet. It was the Boat Knight. Okay, that works. I believe there's a town over here. At the very least, I know of a way to another town. Yep, here's the town. Callum soldiers! No way! No, wait! We're not Callum soldiers! No. Oops, my mistake. Oh, it's obvious. I can see in your eyes. You're not from Gallum, those evil, evil people. Welcome to Roft. Every peaceful person is welcome. Uh, this is the last new town in the game, actually. Welcome. Your desire will be fulfilled. Raise so many people. Luckily, I have plenty of money. Luke, Vanit, Freya. Yes, yeah, save, please. Alright, so let's continue doing things here. I'm going to check the weapon shop, although I don't think they have anything. Strangely enough, if you watch my Let's Play of Beyond the Beyond, this room should look familiar. It's very similar to the basement of your house. Healing drop. Okay. What's up, boy? I guarantee all items to be in good condition. Uh, yeah. You don't have anything new. Like I said, I thought I was actually done with the new stuff. What do you have in deals now? Nothing I didn't sell myself. Cool. Oh, right. I have a new item. Because I have a heat axe somewhere. And I think the heat axe might actually be better for my barons than the sword that they're using. Yeah, it is. Mr. Pedro and Mr. Passeran came from the south. Sound familiar? Yeah, at this point in the game, they just give you stuff everywhere. The blizzard. Zink, are you okay? You were captured by the devils. So yeah, Zink was actually captured and forced to go on the... Um, Trip back over the mountain, I believe. They never fully explain it, but nobody but the blacksmith can... The dwarven blacksmith can work with Mithril. That's right, we're finally getting close to that. Empty barrel. Man-eating plants! 
were able to find Mithril and Grands before. The Orman Blacksmith lives in Grands Forest. Yep, we've got two battles left until we can get Mithril, if I remember right. Anyway, let's go say hi to them, shall we? Mr. Passeran came here through the tunnel in the south. We've been told that devils live there. And we've seen many devils here since he came to Roft. Here's the regular item shop. Red Baron is a cruel killer. He smeared his armor with the blood of his enemies. That's why it's a Red Baron. It's because you're covered in red. What's up, boy? I don't actually care about you. You just sell normal items. Do you know of Mithril? Mithril weapons are awfully strong. They may help you in your battles. We're probably going to have an entire video dedicated to Mithril weapons. Devils kidnapped Mr. Pedro and stole the Nazca ship. Alright. Um. Yeah, we're going to stop this one here. I don't want to trigger that sequence. Or do I? Yeah, I'll trigger it. Sir Pedro, don't leave me alone. Passeran, I'm sorry. You promised to fly me in the sky. I know. With the Nesca ship, I promised. I'd fly home to see my family. To show them how wonderful the ancients were. Pedro, no! Now we're back to happy music. Ancient travels. The devils killed Pedro. They lied to us. How cruel they are. He's gone. We never had a chance to fly the Nazca ship. So these were the folks that were from Ribble. The um, people who had came here through that tunnel. Which means the other side of the tunnel's over here. It's going to be a long video, I guess. What's wrong with Zink? I have no idea, but he's obviously disturbed. Bowie, Sir Astral, I am angry! I cannot forgive the devils! I have overridden my restrictions on fighting. I am joining your force as a soldier. I think the robot has joined the force. I wonder if he's actually a robot or if this is just, like, um, one of those strings that actually can't be changed. Let us go and defeat the Devil Army. Zink, the robot. Level 1? That's not right. Look at the item that he has in his inventory. He has MP as well. He's not supposed to be a robot. That must be a glitch. So, I can edit his character to actually match what it's supposed to be. Uh, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Sink is definitely supposed to be a Master Monk, given that. Although he has no magic either. Probably because he's level 1. And that's not supposed to happen. I will fix that between videos. But, first... Again, this is going to be a long video. Apologies. Because I want... To do this. So this is an Abbey secret, I guess you would say. It's definitely optional. So we actually saw a little bit of this before, I think. No, this is a different spot, never mind. All the way through here is a cave. Does this look familiar? It should. I'm sorry, I always thought this should have sound effects. This room is going to be more important later, but... But we put the arm of the golem on the golem. Oh, wow! Oh, Sprite Max. That feels good. Good, my power is back. Thank you, I can move again. How can I express... Oh yes, I'll join you. I'll protect you. 
Claude the Wizard has joined the force. We have another wizard. Huh. So, given that Claude is 14, what the hell? That's lower than Sheila. I'm going to put Zinc at 15, I think. That means I'm probably going to have to guess at his stats, because that's definitely stats of a level 1. Claude has Dispel, Muddle, Bolt, and Apollo. He has 103 attack? What the hell? There's no way that's right. I think we might have some stat problems here. Anyway, that's actually not the reason why I came here, although it's one of them. Um, by the way, this map might look like something. We'll see that later. Hey, look, the door's open. Remember this place? The temple way back in South Parmesia? We're back. All the way back to Rivel over here, where we'll actually save an exit. I need to figure out what the heck I'm going to do with these stats. There's something seriously wrong with my randomizer, I think. Anyway, just gonna save state. I hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. I need to cook. Bye!